ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Haven't found any sign of the ship. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout, and pretty green, too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? Good to hear it. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts, if you're up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's her! Get her! Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack!
Anything? Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp.
Yes, General. Yes, General.
A moment. That beast there. Do you see it? The force flows even through these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. 
basic instincts, primal urges, every breath dominated by the needs of the moment. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its thoughts, yes? Like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it, carefully and slowly. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. In the force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now. Thank <laughs> you. 
found three sites that looked promising. Zarga, my commander, told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pets were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack. So I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. Blaster rifles don't use much energy, and their energy cells last a long time. How often have you had to change ammo? I do not need you to echo my failures to me. I need your aid. Enough of this. If you're only here to mock me, then leave. Are you here to ridicule me further? It is good your own words amuse you. Then may the jungle take you, and I hope your death shall be slower than mine. Don't touch that button, it'll blow up all my charges. No! Grows tiresome. understand more of our ways than I thought. I'm impressed. Too bad you're a Jedi. You'd make a formidable Mandalorian. If you head outside the... Ready to head back to your sh... Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry computer repaired in no time. That's pretty mercenary of you. A lot of us have been down that road recently. Here's some credits. I appreciate the help. Now, I have some work to do. Damn it. The jungle is taking over. Yes. Found Kumis's body yet?
If he couldn't defend himself, then he got no less than he deserved. Any sign of that permacrete he was carrying? What a waste. Looks like I'll need to send a new recruit out sooner than I'd like. Mandalore will... Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champions. You may fight in the battle circle again. You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. No items or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the force or any other item. Jedi and Kelborn is over. Kelborn is the clear and honorable victor. You are a strong warrior, Jedi, but no match for the best of us. If you take away your lightsaber and force, then our training techniques can be more than a match for you. Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. I underestimated you. A difficult admission for a Mandalorian. 
If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us, Braylor. as a champion. You hear 
bit of gloat over your victories in the battle circle. Save it for someone else. So why are you back? Either you're very lucky, or you're a lot tougher than you look. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakik. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. How many Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Are you ready to go to Isis yet?
Thank <laughs> you. 